I've always been the kind of person who believes in giving people freedom and trusting them. When I met Jenna, she was inextricably linked to her best friend Alex. He was an open and bright guy, and they had a history going back to their high school days. Alex was only interested in men. He was like a best friend to my wife. They were always laughing and sharing experiences. I respected their friendship. I had no jealousy. Sometimes Alex introduced us to his boyfriends. A few days ago, when we were having a beer with my friend Ryan, he hesitated before showing me something on his phone. Dude, I don't know how to say this, but you have to see this, he muttered. Opening his phone, he showed Alex's page. This site was for adult guys. At first I laughed and said I knew all about Alex. But my friend showed me a video posted publicly on his page. There was a girl in the video, and when I looked closely, I recognized her as my wife. In this video, they were in an intimate relationship. A video of Jenna and Alex not just interacting, they show their unexpected chemistry. I was shocked not only by the intimacy, but also by the very idea of putting such a relationship out in the open. The narrative of their innocent friendship that I had built up in my imagination crumbled in an instant. I was utterly confused. When I asked Jenna about the videos, she made a desperate attempt to remain unfazed. It's just pretend, you know, for money, she began, her voice shaking. Alex and I thought it would be a bizarre twist, given his orientation. We never thought it would be a big deal. Alex, on the other hand, tried to downplay the fact with humor. Come on, dude, it's 2023. But behind his chest, I could see the worry. But it wasn't just about the pretense, it was about the secrecy, the betrayal, the fact that they chose to keep it from me, thinking I'd never find out. Every excuse they tossed my way was like a slap in the face, each one even more absurd than the last. It's only for the fans, we were just playing characters, it doesn't mean anything in real life. I'm torn. Part of me wants to understand to believe it was just a misguided scheme for money. But another part of me feels like the trust we had has been shattered beyond repair. I've always believed in second chances, but is it too much? Can trust be rebuilt in a situation like this, or is it time to close this chapter and move on? Several weeks passed, and all the while I pondered. I wanted to believe Jenna's words, to think it was just a one-time thing an error in judgment. But as the days passed, my intuition grew stronger and stronger. I couldn't shake the suspicion. Then I decided to check their account one last time, and there it was fresh content, new videos, and even interactive sessions with fans. They haven't stopped, they've just become more low-key. Facing Jenna again was even harder. She looked at him differently, not with guilt, but with defiance. And then came the offer that broke the camel's back. Why don't you join us for socializing? The fans would love it, and we could split the earnings. She suggested, as if monetizing our relationship would somehow fix things. For me, it was over. The woman I loved, the woman I thought I knew, was lost in a world I could neither understand nor accept. I immediately packed my bags and left. It was one of the hardest decisions of my life. But deep down, I knew it was the right one.